RC pocket racers are micro race cars that you can control. But do they really work? That's what I'm going to try to find out in this review of RC pocket racers. To use RC pocket racers, all you do is you plug in the car to the, the remote control, which also serves as its case. So I've got the RC racer charging right now, as you can see from the red light. Uh, the instructions say that it will take uh, three to six minutes for it to charge. It has been about three minutes, so we'll see how long it takes. On the first charging, it took about seven and a half minutes for the light to go out. So now we're going to pair it up and then put it to the first test. Seems like it's already losing its charge. It's only been a couple minutes. Well, my first use, it seemed like it didn't last very long on one charge. So what I'm gonna do is recharge it and then I'm gonna hold it down continuously and see exactly how long I get out of one charge because that was only a few minutes. And the other problem I had is that it had a tendency to sometimes start spinning in circles even when I was holding the, the forward arrow. So I have to figure out why that could be it. For my second test, I'm gonna hold down the button and just let it go and see exactly how long it takes on one charge. All right, I've got my stopwatch, got my remote, and here we go. It doesn't seem quite as uh, impressive the second time. We had to pause that second test because the wheels have debris in them, so we're actually in the middle of digging the debris out. If you have pets like I do, this product could be problematic as it moves across the floor and picks up pet hair. We try for take three. The second one was kind of a bust because the wheels were still not turning well because of debris that it picked up from the floor. So we clean out the wheels, recharge it. This is the third charge it's on right now, and now we're going to see how it continues to work this time. Much better. Oh, much better. Drawing board on this one. Once charged, you can play with the car for some people have said up to 10 minutes. I'm seeing it's more like about five. That might depend on other factors like the terrain that it's going across. But you can count on five to 10 minutes of play and probably five to seven minutes for the batteries to charge. This has been a difficult one for me to review because I've had so many problems trying to keep the car from collecting uh, carpet fuzz and pet hair and other debris on the floor. And when I was a kid, we had uh, racetracks that the wheels would pull off take the debris out, put the wheel back on. That's not the case here. I'm finding myself with tweezers trying to dig out uh, 
debris out of the wheels. On my first uh, test of RC pocket racers, it worked about as advertised. You know, I had no problem with it racing all over the house, but with continued use, it seemed like it degraded quickly. The wheels seem like they don't spin as easily, even though I've done what I could to keep them clean and keep the floor clean that it's racing on. It just seems to me like it's so small and the wheels don't remove that it's gonna be difficult to keep the RC Pocket Racer from accumulating even small bits of uh, debris on the floor, which degrades performance. In the end, I'm not really a fan of RC Pocket Racers, I'm sorry. Try to like this one, I try to make it work, but it seems like the charge doesn't last long enough. It's prone to picking up debris in the wheels. It just seems like it's a lot more work than it is fun. So in my opinion, I'll pass on RC Pocket Racers.